I'm going to speak about Bitcoin's if it's to like give you some, you know, tips and uh, tricks and stepwise approach for that. Uh, the two available system in the market are the uh, ellipses from Metronic and Wavelink from Bard. And both require specific anatomical inclusion, exclusion criteria for successful procedural outcome. But both required a specific anatomical criteria. You need to have an intact arterial system with negative modified allen test and triphasic flow in the arterial system. You, it's very important to have an intact perforator vein, and this is a key in doing this kind of the procedure. And of course, you need at least one suitable outflow vein, either uh, cephalic or basalic vein, with inner diameter at least more than two millimeter using a tourniquet, and beta, and of course, central venous system. Let's start each system uh, by itself. We we'll start with the wavelength first. Uh, the anatomical criteria for wavelength, it required, of course, a perforator vein to be patent, uh, more than two millimeter, reader or ulnar artery and vein, diameter more, diameter should be more than two millimeter at the anastomosis location and access site. The, this one, the distance between the artery and, artery and vein at the anastomosis site should be less than one millimeter, and you can go either parallel or anti-parallel positions. This is how the device, it's a four French, it has two catheters, arterial catheters can go through the breaker, radar, or ulnar artery, and the venous catheter, which has electrolyte, which goes through the breaker, radar, or ulnar vein. It requires a fluoroscopy and contrast. It has a magnet which holds uh, both catheters together, and then it fires by doing radio frequency. And usually it's an osmosis between the proximal radar or, al radar or ulnar artery and radar ulnar vein. The location of the anastomosis should be usually very close to the, uh, to the perforator to direct the blood to the superficial system, and sometimes required to do coil, embol coil embolization of the breaker vein to document, document the flow to the superficial venous system. Uh, for the wavelength, uh, required to have a perforator vein. Sorry, I got this. This is uh, the procedure. You get the wires through the uh, radial artery and vein. Then you get the two catheters and you get the extra load and then the magnetic holding together and then you fires and then you get the anastomosis and then this is the final result with augmentation flow to the superficial venous system. Usually the access site, the creation site, the most uh, access site is through the radial artery and radial vein, less is being ulnar artery and ulnar vein. Uh, the access for the arterial system usually through the radial artery, but you can go through breaker artery on, or ulnar artery. And the venous access usually is the radial vein, but you can go through brachial vein and ulnar vein. How good is this uh, device? This is a very neat trial published 2017. It's a multi-center single uh, arm trial. They have 60 patients and the success was 98% and physiologically suitable for, for, uh, by ultrasound at three months was 87% but only 64% was suitable for dialysis. Uh, they look at the primary and secondary patency was 69 and 84 at one year. So what they conclude that Everlink, which later on become Wavelink, uh, it has a high 12 months cumulative patency with minimum complication, maybe variable alternative option for surgical AV fistula. Then we have an ESO study was also published 2019, multi-operator single center, single arm prospective study. They have 32 patients, also they use Everlink, Everlink and the technical success was 100% and cannulation was achieved in 73% after three months. Primary impotency was about 83% and argument impotency was 87%. So what they conclude again is excellent procedure success with low rate of complication and high rate of functional cannulation success and impotency without the need for additional post-creation intervention. But the most recent study published recently uh, this year, uh, they, it's a prospective multi-center single arms. They have 120 patients, and the six months primary patency was 71%, and secondary was 87%. Time of the form maturation was about 40 days, and uh, arterial and venous access complication was 0%, with very low complication rate, less than 2%. What about ellipses? Ellipses from Mitronic is a different device. It's a single superficial venous guide wire, which should go through the perforator, advance all the way to the proximal radial artery. It required only duplex ultrasound, no need for fluoroscopy, no need for contrast. And device advanced over the wire, it captured both the arterial and venous wall, and then it fired and activated and generated the anastomosis. And of course, we required a ballooning at the end to dilate the anastomosis. This is a procedure, you get the wire through the perforator to the proximal radial artery. 
and then you get the device. It has two pieces which capture the arterial wall and the venous wall, and then the heat will generate the fistula, and then you dilate it, and you end with a nice endo AV fistula. The tips for epilepsy, it's a single catheter, thermal en uh, energy. Its perforator vein should be at least more than two millimeters. It should be straight. The distance between the proximal reader artery and the perforator should be less than 1.5 millimeter to avoid any extravasation or any use my dilatations. The anastomosis is usually uh, created exactly at the perforator vein, and this is an advantage. The second thing is that the location of the ellipsis anastomosis is more cranial than wavelength. So if you have a wavelength which failed, you always you can do an ellipsis later on because more uh, cranial anastomosis. How good is uh, ellipsis? This is also a very nice uh, study, a single center retrospective cohort study. They have 234 patients. Success rate was 99%, primary patency about 50%, primary assistant was 85%, and secondary patency was 96%. So what they conclude that ellipsis AV fissure allow for rapid and safe creation of reliable autogenous access and should be considered the next preferred access site. This is a very nice paper. They compare both wavelength and, uh, and uh, ellipsis. Which one is better? When you look at the primary patency, there was no difference uh, between both uh, systems. But when you look at the accumulated patency by procedure procedure, they found that ellipsis has better accumulated patency 82% versus 60% for the wavelength. So what they conclude that both device has a high technical success, but the accumulated patency was better for the ellipsis system. This is another paper also published recently. They compare endovascular with the surgical AV fistula and the single center retrospective studies. They have 107 patients has an endo AV fistula and 107 has a surgical endo fistula. And we look at the primary patency at one year was better for the surgical group, but if you look at two years, patency was no different. When they look at secondary patency at one year and two years was no different between both groups. Oh, but they found also this peer maturation rate for percutaneous AV fistula and similar rate of percutaneous intervention, but the surgical groups, they have more frequent surgical revisions than percutaneous AV fistula. Also, also it has a low risk of infection and low risk of steel and aneurysm malformation. So they conclude that Bechtel's A fistula, although minimal invasive, have a result comparable and sometimes even superior to surgical AV fistula. This is how, how our, our, our algorithm was. We start with a, a radiocephalic, and then we go to the wavelength, and then ellipsis, and then last we do brachiocephalic or brachiobasalic AV fistula. So conclusion, endo AV fistula has high technical success with minimal complication and high 12 months cumulative patency. It would use a visual trauma leading to better fistula formation and possible decrease uh, morbidity and improve patient acceptance. It may be a valuable alternative option for achieving AV fistula for hemodynamic patient in need for vascular access. Thank you very much for your attention.